The source of a woman's true desire is a rightful eighth wonder of the world. You're about to learn the five shocking truths about what women really want. And it's not what you think. Forget fairy tales and Hallmark movies, fellas. Let's crack the code on what women really want. Forget the nice guy facade, ditch the pickup lines, and prepare to dive into the real deal. The unfiltered, uncensored truth about what makes women tick. Today, we're figuring out what's really going on in the minds of women. We'll break down the myths, spill the secrets, and reveal five shocking truths that women usually keep to themselves. Let's be honest. Navigating the world of love and relationships is a minefield. You're left deciphering mixed signals, battling confusing contradictions, and wondering if you're even playing the game right. If you approach a woman, you're considered creepy and at risk of being accused of harassment. When you don't approach, you're a simp with no confidence. But fear not. This video is a roadmap to understanding the desires women hold close to their hearts, desires they might never openly express. So buckle up, boys, because this isn't your mama's relationship advice. Truth number one, nice guys finish last, and here's why. Forget the nice guy myth, gentlemen. It's time to upgrade your operating system and ditch the dial up of predictability. We all know the narrative, the sensitive, ever agreeable guy who hangs on every word like a lifeline. That's a one way ticket to the friend zone. Here's the deal. Women crave intrigue, not predictability. They're drawn to the guy who's got an edge, a spark that ignites curiosity and sends shivers down their spine. Not the simp who she has already mapped out like a tourist brochure. It's not about being an insensitive jerk. Stand tall, own your space, and don't be afraid to express your opinion, even if they're not always sunshine and rainbows. Show her you're not just a pre-programmed sweetheart, but a complex, multifaceted human with a little mystery simmering beneath the surface. Think of it like a good book. You didn't pick up one with every plot point laid out in the first chapter, right? Leave her guessing a little. Keep her wondering what makes you tick. Be the unexpected twist in her story. The one she can't put down. Truth number two. She's a queen, not a damsel. Ditch the white knight routine, gentlemen. Today's woman is forged in fire, not rescued from a tower. She's climbed mountains on her own, slayed dragons with her wit, and built a kingdom with her bare hand. Her crown isn't just waiting for a prince to bestow it. It's already forged from her own damn struggles and triumphs. Think Beyonce, not Sleeping Beauty. She's a CEO in stilettos, the artist with paint-stained fingers, the scientist who uncovers galaxies. Her independence isn't something to fix. It's her superpower. So put away your rusty armor and your outdated notions of saving. Offer support, not patronization. Be her comrade in arms, not her damsel in distress fantasy. Her dreams are her own, not yours to dictate or control. Be her wind beneath them, not the hand that holds her back. Now, go forth and be the partner, not the rescuer. But remember this one thing. A prince becomes a king when he builds a kingdom. A princess doesn't become a queen until she marries a king. Truth number three. Looks matter more than you think. All right, let's cut the crap and get real about looks. Yeah, they matter. And anyone who says otherwise is probably lying. Now. I'm not saying you need to be a fitness model or drop stacks on the latest fashion trend. When you walk into a room, people notice. Hit the gym, not to impress others with your six pack, but because it's a damn good for your confidence. Feeling strong and healthy does wonders for how you carry yourself. And let me tell you, confidence is sexier than any designer label. Now let's talk wardrobe. You don't need a closet full of expensive suits, but Find clothes that fit you well and make you feel like a million bucks. It's not about following trends. It's about finding your style and owning it. When you feel good in what you wear, that swagger becomes contagious. Grooming. Don't underestimate it. Clean up the scruff, 
get a decent haircut, and for the love of all that's holy, maintain good personal hygiene. No one wants to get close to someone who looks like they just crawled out of a dumpster. You don't need to look like Ronaldo, but you can't walk around looking like Ron Jeremy. Truth number four, emotional intelligence is the key to her heart and your zipper. Forget about the old school idea that men should be stone cold and unfeeling. We're living in an era where emotional intelligence is the key to her heart. When you unlock her mind, her heart will follow. You're not expecting to turn into a sobbing mess during a romantic movie marathon. No, no, no. We're talking about being in touch with what's going on inside your heart and your head. Emotional intelligence is about recognizing what you feel, understanding it, and being able to communicate those emotions without making a scene. It's not about letting emotions rule your life. It's about navigating them like a boss. The modern woman appreciates a guy who can read the room, understand where people are coming from, and respond with empathy. It's not about being a robot or wearing a facade of toughness. It's about being real, genuine, and trustworthy. Women see a man with emotional intelligence as someone who's not just there for a good time, but also there for tough times. Someone who's not just a partner, but a pillar of support. Truth number five, women can smell desperation from a mile away. Let's talk about the desperation radar women seem to have on high alert. Picture this, you're confident, doing your thing, and suddenly, you're feeling that pressure to impress or hold on to someone's attention a bit too tightly. Well, that's where things can go downhill faster than a boulder in free fall. Women have this sixth sense of desperation. And let me tell you, it's strong. Trying too hard, being clingy, or coming off as needy, it's like waving a flag that screams, stay away. They'll sense it from miles away. And trust me, it's not an attractive scent. Here's the deal. Maintain your independence. Have a life beyond trying to win somebody over. Dive into your hobbies, passions, and interests. Show her you've got things going on and that you're not just waiting for her approval or attention. Letting her go? Yeah, that's a power move. It's not about playing games. It's about knowing your worth. If she's not feeling it, don't smother her with desperation. Respect her choice and move on confidently. Women are far more attracted to a guy who's got his own game plan, who's not orbiting around her every move. Bonus truth. She wants a dangerous man who chooses to be good. The modern woman desires a dangerous man who chooses to be good. The type of high value man who could go off at any time but chooses to stay in control. She knows that he could protect her and their family. An alpha male who doesn't need to prove he's an alpha. He knows he is, and so does everyone else he encounters. Do not make the mistake of confusing this with just being a good man. That's the fastest track to the friend zone. And she had dozens of them. The good man she says she wants does not have the ability to provide and protect. He's nice and polite, though he doesn't have the capacity to be dangerous. So gents, when she says she wants a good man, read between the lines. She really wants a dangerous man who chooses to be good. So there you have it, gentlemen. Five shocking truths and one bonus about what women really want and desire that they won't say. Make sure you're paying attention listening to her cues and become the high value man she really wants. If you can do that, you'll be well on your way to unlocking her mind, conquering her heart and dominating your love life. If this video blew your mind, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more raw and real strategies to become a high value man. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts. What are some of the things that women really want? Let's start a conversation and get real about relationships. Until the next time, stay confident, stay true to yourself, and most importantly, stay awesome.